Do you like FPS games? Do you enjoy self-induced torture? Do you sometimes find yourself pondering the reasons why? Well, I have something that's going to be perfect for you. It's called Valorant. It's a great game made by a great company who made another great game called League of Legends. It's the perfect thing for you, and if you want to learn more, hey, watch the rest of this video. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to make sure that if you are subscribed, you have those goddamn notifications on so you know when I upload the video. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what's wrong with you, but anyway, smash like, and let's get into how to play Valorant. So due to the fact that you're this far into the video, I'm assuming you want to know how to play Valorant, but you don't want to play like a typical Valorant player who's oh i can kind of aim i can kind of play you want to play like a fucking korean kid who is as fragile as the emotional state of twitter users well before i can even teach you how to play valorant you need to know what valorant is Valorant is a team-based FPS game where two teams compete to see which team has better social management skills. Seriously, this isn't a joke. Every comp match is determined based on which team can overcome the obstacle of online social interaction. No, seriously, it's actually on their website. I'm, I'm not even joking. In Valorant, you start with a classic, but you can buy other guns with credits. Well, how do you get credits? You get credits for free every single round. You get more if you win. You get less if you lose. It's really that simple. Now, what guns can you buy? I'm gonna be honest. You can buy any gun in the game except the stinger don't buy the stinger it's a bad gun though it really doesn't matter what gun you use because in the end you are gonna get one tapped every round by a guy named xx underscore mommy milkers who just lost three games in a row on his main account anyways now let me introduce you to the cast of valorant you got that guy with the camera an airbender with no father a robot an engineer a guy who still listens to Lil Peep. A guy with the ego of a C-list celebrity. A sociopath. Reyna. A psychopath. A vegan. An alcoholic. That's Viper. Don't play Viper. Yoru. Astra. A racist. And a 60-year-old man with PTSD. Now, anyways, you'll eventually figure out what character you want to play, but be ready to come to some harsh realizations, because who you main does reflect who you are. The claw is... The claw... Anyways, moving on. You need to learn how to play Valorant, and I'm gonna fucking teach you, you dickhead. That was a little intense. Jesus Christ, take a step back. Anyways, speaking of steps, I'm gonna take you through my multi-step processing system unit functional operating machine. Now, what is this? It's just a program. It's just a multi-step program. That's all it really is. The name's a little over the top, but it doesn't fucking matter. Anyways, step one, analyze. Now, analyze. What does this mean? It means that you need to fucking analyze, become a computer, become a fucking uh, quantum computer, study graphs, data, data science, make a Twitter account, follow everyone in the Valorant community. Specifically, make a Twitter account and follow everyone in the Valorant community who is considered good at the game do not dive deeper into valorant twitter that is a fucking mistake this is a warning don't do it not a nice place anyways go to these players twitch streams open them up hey get a notepad hey buy a pen you're gonna need those i know you play valorant so you you don't have those but you're gonna need them so go get a pen and a paper and uh take some notes if you're watching ethos just be like ethos picked yoru ethos then went to be long and peaked at a 73 degree angle after you've written essentially a five page essay on how valorant mechanics work time to go on a step two adapt so what does adapting mean how do you adapt to become a valorant player well there's a lot of things like joining the twitter community that we mentioned before However, there's other things. For example, dropping out of school is a great way to join the Valorant community because, as we all know, all good Valorant players are actually illiterate. It's, it's true. There's lots of testimonies saying it. You know, people don't like to admit it, but most Valorant players are illiterate. So adapt by getting rid of that notepad I told you to get before. You're not going to need it. You don't read. You don't write. It's fine. You're all good. You've already analyzed. You're past that step. You don't need it anymore. Now you're probably wondering, is that all it takes to adapt to the Valorant community? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry if you thought the video was gonna end anyways. I, I couldn't think of much myself, so I decided to outsource and get somebody that is immortal to, uh explain it for you so please enjoy this submission from some random fucking immortal player with an ego so i'm uh anyway wait, what am i supposed to be doing anyways so i heard you needed some help so i'm here to give you some tips you know uh do they sign you based on rank wait do you know that i've been immortal for three seasons <laughs> all right number one tip i'm gonna be real with you i'm gonna keep it 100 
before I was immortal, I didn't. I had this normal ass. I had a picture on my Twitter. It was Drake. Do I look good in this shot? I really like Drake, he, is, he makes great music. Anyways, the first step is to switch your uh, profile picture on Twitter to anime, cause like, th does this look good? I don't know what it does, but it makes your like, I don't know, I think it has something to do with your neurological values, bro. Like, it, it goes into your head and your settings. You know I'm immortal, right? Okay, okay, just making sure. It fixes your DPI in your head, and you know, it's just a great thing overall. I think it's just a great idea, and I think you guys should take that advice. Now, I must be honest, that guy had a great point, you know. The profile picture, it all adds up. Every single Radiant player I've ever seen has anime in their profile picture. And that guy was spitting facts. Anyways, it's time to move on to the next step of this process. Step 3. Application. Now that you've gone through the first major steps, you know, analysis, adaptation. Well, now it's time to apply what you've learned. Like, for example, in step 1, you learned how to study streamers. So apply that to your competitive matches. If you watched Average Jonas... Do some nerd lineups. If you watched Grimm, do some funny walls. And if you watched XTR, I am deeply sorry. Anyways, applying step two is very simple. Adaptation. You know, just drop out of school and make sure that you have your profile picture on all social medias as anime. And that's about it for step three, apply. And now it's time for step four acceptance now that you've applied your anime profile picture studied the great gamers that play this game you are now complete you are officially radiant congratulations you have to accept that you are now a radiant player you play every day for eight hours now nobody can compete with you congratulations I hope you enjoy your success and now it's time for the end of this video the conclusion today you've learned the four A's of gaming analysis adaptation application and acceptance and you became a radiant valorant player anyways it's my time to go so uh subscribe smash like and i'll see you in the next video i swear it won't be 17 18 days this time it'll be soon my name is devin i hope you have an amazing night amazing day hey goodbye now go throw some valorant games just kidding don't throw them twitch.tv slash devin i am i stream go follow me